Good day everybody, my name is Oscar and welcome to a video where I'm going to talk about what we already know about the Subnautica Arctic Biome expansion, but also some suggestions or ideas of possible expansion features or storylines. Now before we get into the video, I'd just like to thank Amino for supporting the creation of this video. Yes, I got a sponsorship and I can hear the collective screams of thousands of people, but hear me out. I wouldn't allow the placement of something into one of my videos that I don't use and love myself. So basically, Amino is an app that powers over a million different communities, and there's one for pretty much every interest in the world, and this includes Subnautica. This app features loads of things to do in the community, such as public chats, quizzes, polls, posts, and places for sharing artwork with each other. For example, this great post features some really cool artwork of the Lost River and a little bit of backstory to it too. Amino is the best and easiest place to go to for high quality Subnautica content, polls, and chat rooms to meet and discuss the game with other fans. So go ahead and download the app, the links in the description will take you straight to either the Apple or Android app stores where you can download it for free and come and join in. I made a poll on which Leviathan people think is their favourite and so far the result is really close between a Reaper Leviathan, Sea Emperor and Ghost Leviathan, so go and vote and have your say. So now, let's get on with the video. Now we've known for a while now that the Arctic Biome expansion, or in other terms DLC, was certainly something that the developers were hinting towards. It's now pretty much confirmed that we're getting an Arctic Biome, or at least something to do with the Arctic landmass which can be seen in the ending cinematic of Subnautica. Now if you compare the sizes of the Arctic landmass seen in the ending to the size of the Aurora, or the floating island, you can get a good idea of what kind of size we're talking about. So it's most likely going to take a long time for anything of that scale to be completed. And in fact, Charlie Cleveland suggested that it could take up to 10 months for the expansion to be released. However, we have plenty of evidence pointing to the fact that work on the first expansion is already underway. For example, back in November, ex Subnautica sound guy Simon posted pictures of himself recording snow footstep sounds, which obviously shows that some form of icy landmass is going to be part of the expansion. Also, back in January, Simon tweeted that the team had just had a big meeting about the future of Subnautica, along with a snowy cloud and snowflake emoji. When asked whether this was referring to weather in an ice biome, Simon simply responded with a gif of Oprah nodding through tears. Simon also showed a screenshot of what looks like the cleaning up of an audio file saved as Subnautica expansion, which again shows that something is being worked on. As well as that, we also have Abraxis saying recently that Arctic is a thing though, so if that doesn't confirm it, I don't know what will. This pretty much shows that an arctic biome is being worked on and is confirmed as an expansion to the game in the future. I also found this old document, and by old I mean very old, so bear in mind that some things will have changed and ideas will have been scrapped and created. But this was the original plan for the arctic biome. It says that sunlight would be weaker and filter through clouds, that there'd be possible above water landscapes, that there'd be a lack of plant life, there'd be large floating icebergs, narrow ice caves, and any creatures should be reminiscent of and allude to arctic wildlife qualities on earth, such as the bleached white skin of the beluga whale. As well as that, we also have that in the expansion, we will be playing as a completely different character to in the main story, or in other words, we'd be playing as a female survivor instead of the male one we play currently. This would not, however, be a selection, it would just be how it is. A model was made a few years ago for a female character, along with another concept art for another one. So I can really see this being a thing that happens, and I'd like it too. From here on out, pretty much everything is just speculation and ideas for possible features of the expansion. Taking on board the idea that they would like creatures to share arctic quality seen on Earth, I thought that their devs could reskin the rock puncher to a more arctic theme with whites, greys and blues. I created a quick mock-up of possible ways this creature could now look with these colour schemes. While Charlie Cleveland did say back in January 2016 that the Brock Punch was on the chopping block now because they wouldn't be terraforming terrain, the Trello card is currently listed under Expansion Pack, Maybe and Future, suggesting that bringing back the Rock Puncher into the game is something they would like to do, but of course this isn't saying that they are going to. They could also rename it to Ice Puncher or something like that if they were to implement it, and as many people agree with me on this, I don't care whether it could terraform the landscape or not, even just the ability to break outcrops or just punch walls to create a dust effect would be awesome. While talking to another Subnautica community member, Frykus, he revealed to me a really cool idea for the story of the expansion. Obviously none of this is being openly considered by the developers, and it was made by Frykus himself just using his own imagination. Tell me what you think of his ideas in the comments below, because I really like them. So his main point is that you're playing as someone who launched a life pod too early in comparison to the other survivors, which would explain how you managed to land on another part of the planet, and that you'd be playing as the woman if the devs wanted to implement that. He also suggested that it could be a smaller map with new creatures and at least one more precursor facility that could explain more about their species, perhaps where we could find some more information on the anatomy of the precursors and more about their histories as a species as a whole. 
Frankus also gave me the idea of a new gameplay mechanic, which would be that in some areas of the water, it is so cold that you have to constantly move, and if you stop for too long, you'll take damage, and that perhaps in certain areas, you might even have to take a special swimsuit because it's just so cold. I think this would be a really cool mechanic, as it would make the game more tense and you'd have to be constantly worrying about your body temperature, which might make up for a smaller story. As for the introduction of new creatures, he had the idea of the new Leviathan, who's blind and extremely old, using AI that relies solely on sound, that is perhaps protecting the precursor facilities as it has made its home there. My personal favourite part of this idea, however, is the ending that he came up with. He thought that the ending of the expansion story shouldn't necessarily be as happily ever after as the story in the main game, and could perhaps in fact end with the death of the player. The final scene would be a cinematic for the player, seeing the rocket flying through the atmosphere from afar, launched by the player in the main story, and then dying. I think this would be an awesome ending because it would show that all of the events were occurring at the same time, which adds nice layers to the story and of course is a massive throwback to the original game. So guys, I'd absolutely love to know your opinions on this story idea from Frykus, along with any further suggestions or changes to the expansion. Also, tell me what you think about the possible implementation of the Rock Puncher and the existence of above land icy terrain. But yeah, I'm going to leave this one here guys, if you did enjoy the video please give a like, remember to go and download Amino and join me on there, subscribe if you're new to the channel and until the next one, I'll see you guys in the next one. Draw my friends.